Over the last two months, I've been using Apple Reminders as my main digital task manager. And today I have to report that I can no longer use Apple Reminders. Now, before the keyboard warriors start attacking me, let me explain my criteria, which I perfectly acknowledge is not necessarily going to be your criteria. One of the key points of any digital task manager for me is that I must be able to trust it 100%. And by trust, what I mean is when I put something into my task manager, I set up the date, whether it's a recurring date or just a standalone date, I want to know that it is pretty much 100% guaranteed to show up on the day that I want it to show up. Unfortunately, Apple Reminders seems to have a little quirk that doesn't do that 100% of the time. Now, what this does in effect is means that I have to second guess every time I look at my today list. I'm sort of, there's a voice in the back of my head saying, are you sure this is accurate? Does that task really have to be done today? Is there a task missing? Should there be a task here that somehow isn't here? You know, all those doubts start going through your head. Now, as soon as that happens, your task manager is completely useless. Now, to be fair to Apple Reminders, this is not happening in 99% of cases. I add a date, I add my, my priority, I add maybe sometimes add a flag, and sure enough, it's going to show up on the right day. But over the last two months, I've had a couple of instances, probably maybe three or four times, where I have rescheduled a recurring task to come up on a different day because perhaps I wasn't going to be in the office all day or that I was going to be on a business trip or something like that. But it didn't follow my expectation, if you like. And perhaps, sure, I could be doing something wrong, which I'm perfectly happy to accept if I am. But the problem here is it doesn't matter whether I'm doing something wrong. All that matters is I no longer trust Apple Reminders. Let me just give you a quick example of where this has revealed itself. I have a daily recurring task which tells me to do a, something on my business development, if you like, my CRM system. It just reminds me to send out a particular email each day. But there are days when I no long, I don't need to send out that email because the person I would be sending the email hasn't had enough time in order to do whatever is expected of them. Now, I will reschedule that to the next day available. So I have a list of all the people I need to contact, sort of like follow-up, and if there's nothing to follow up tomorrow, I will reschedule the task for the day after. However, even though I do that, and I'm very clear with Apple Reminders that I don't want to see this task tomorrow, I want to see this task the next day, it will still show me the task tomorrow. Now, I know that this is probably being caused by the fact that the way I've written this task is recur every day, and that's fine. And But now, when I use Todoist, for example, what happens is when I reschedule a task, say, two days into the future because I don't need to do it tomorrow, it will respect that decision and won't show me the task tomorrow. Reminders seems to show me the task tomorrow. Now, what happens here is when I'm doing my daily planning, I'm looking at it going, I'm sure I don't need to do that today. Oh, let me just go in and check. Now, the problem here is, is that, yeah, sure, it might only take me 30 seconds to check, but it's now distracted me. It's now made me think, hang on a minute, something's not right here. If this task is showing up, I'm sure it doesn't need to show up today. What other tasks are showing up or not showing up? And that's what's destroying the trust. Now, as soon as I can no longer trust a task manager, the task manager to me is useless. Now, like I said, again, because I know the keyboard warriors will start telling me there's all these workarounds to make sure this works and happens, etc. I get that. I'm sure there is. 
but I'm thinking about the everyday user, the user, the 98% of people who are not going to spend time trying to figure out a problem in a task manager. They're basically just going to stop using it. I know some of you will lo love to go deep into the, the bowels of reminders to figure out what the problem is. And we love you people because you <laughs> provide us with solutions that we probably don't have time or like me, just don't have the brain to be able to figure out those kind of problems. I get that. But for me, if it's not going to work as it should out of the tin, so to speak, then I no longer have trust in it and therefore I can no longer use it. It's personal, it's purely personal, but I can no longer use it. But there are a few other things that have really annoyed me about reminders. There are some things that Apple do brilliantly. Take Apple passwords. They are fantastic. The way that it will add in your your password, your login details, just by your face ID or finger ID, whichever type of device you're using. It is superb. And the way that that works across all your devices is just mind blowing. For years, I've used 1Password. I still do, but I'm already beginning to think that 1Password is no longer needed because Apple Passwords is so good and it's something that I will probably look into a little bit more detailed and start organizing it a lot better than it currently is. But with Apple Reminders, there is something that I just get the feeling that Apple are not really 100% engaged with it. For instance, when you're adding a task and you need to add in a little bit more information such as priority or flagging or even setting the recurrence date, you have to go into this, pull, this pop out menu. And it is just ridiculously complex. Drop down menu, so you're having to click and then find the right date. None, there's no natural language parsing in a lot of, there is some, but there isn't a, in a lot of the things. Now, you might think, well, sure, it only takes you a couple of minutes. Sure, it does take a couple of minutes. But if you're doing that to 10 tasks, that's 20 minutes gone. You know, you've just wasted 20 minutes. And you, the chances are you're going to make a mistake, something's not going to be right, and then it's, again, you get back to that trust issue. And this is where I think, we might think creating a to-do list or a task manager is something quite easy. Well, it's not, because the user experience is so important. When it comes to task managers, the speed at which you can get stuff into it is critical. Now there, Apple Reminders is superb because you can use Siri. You can also create a few shortcuts if you wish, if you want to go into that realm of shortcuts and try and set up something where just by a click of a button you can type or, tap or, or dictate. Reminders in that respect is superb. The organizing though is just a complete mess. I don't know what Apple's trying to do here, but it just doesn't make life easy and it slows everything down. This is just a task manager. It should be fast, bang, bang, bang. So that when you look at your task list for today, you know that all the relevant information is in there and it's ready to go. Reminders doesn't do that very well. So unfortunately, I've had to drop Reminders and go back to Todoist. Now, Todoist for me does all this well. Now, I have to put my hands up here and just say, I have used Todoist for well over 10 years now, so I know it instinctively inside out. I know what it does, but I have to say that in the 10 plus years that I've used Todoist, never once has it let me down, never once has I ever felt that something's not right here. When I set a date, when I set a recurrence, I know it's going to do what I ask it to do 100% of the time. And for me, personally, that is a critical part of a task manager. If you cannot trust it, it's useless. So there you go. I wanted to give you an update on reminders. I didn't want to start using Todoist and pretend I'm using reminders. I should point out, for those of you who are just starting out on this road and want to use a digital task manager, reminders is still a very, very good app. For me, it's just I've lost my trust in it. It could very well be that I was the one who made the mistake and it's not Apple's fault. But that issue with the additional information is not just me. I've had lots of people writing in to tell me that they find that really annoying. I do. It is very annoying. And so 
I've just decided that I'm going to drop reminders as of now, go back to Todoist. But that does not mean that I'm not using, continuing my experiment with Apple Notes, which is a phenomenal tool and I will update you on Apple Notes and my experience with it over the next few weeks. So that's it. That's what I just wanted to cover. I don't want to be kind of dishonest. I will point out that I'm no longer using reminders. It was just becoming a little bit too frustrating and I could no longer trust it. And that means it's a game over. It is a red line for me. Okay, so if you want to learn more about this particular experiment that I've been doing, then this video up here will explain my thinking behind the whole experiment.